welcome back to my channel and if you're welcome so in today's video on five places you should stay in treasure beach so i'm going to be starting the series on my channel because i notice a lot of you guys want places to stay whenever you come to jamaica that isn't typical hotels that we see in here when it comes to jamaica so a lot of you guys requested this so i'm giving this video to you so you guys make sure you guys watch this completely make sure to give it a thumbs up make sure to comment what other parish or local city i should do next i'm going to share with you guys luxury and i'm also going to share with you guys very nice affordable cute and comfortable places just for you guys here in this video also if there are any coupon codes for any of these places i'm going to have them linked down below so in case any of you guys want to book through these places because you saw this video and if you did see this video and you're booking one of these places let the host or the owner of whoever you're booking with let them know that you watched this video and that's why you're booking if you guys are interested make sure you guys stay tuned i can't talk too much in this intro and let's get it to the first place that i would recommend <laughs> Here's a spot for you guys. It's called Katama. So Katama is a beachfront guest house. When they talk about beachfront, it actually is beachfront. Anyways, let me stop the talking. Let's go. Okay, so I'm in my room right now. I have the Amina cabin. It's gonna be linked down below if any of you guys are interested. I actually like this cabin. So here they have cabins, suites, and villas, okay? And like the apartments that they have here is like literally a house, it's like upstairs, downstairs. It's really nice. I tried getting that one, but <laughs> maybe another time. And I'm gonna give you guys a room tour right now, actually, so you guys can see everything that's in this cabin. So basically, it's a little cabin. It's so nice. It has mesh on the outside. So help it mosquitoes. So let's go in. As you walk in, it's a room to the right. It's so cute. You can literally sleep out here if you want to. We're going to get the fresh breeze coming in on you. Cause I'm gonna sleep out here tonight and I'll show you guys. <laughs> so let me show you guys. So it'd be like that. Okay, so that's the outside. We go in. So as we go in, this is a room. So cute. I'm just gonna take pictures. So this is the bed. Okay, turn to the right. Go in. This is the bathroom. And then in the bathroom, you have a toilet. And oh, perfect. You have a place where you can put all your stuff. Guys, the vibe here is so calm and relaxing and just overall nice. And just to let you guys know, every room is not like this. Every room is different. This is how the room looks here. Okay. I think this is a small little kitchenette, as they would say. So it comes with. Put cups, plates, a s comes with a safe, okay, a little mini fridge, sink. Okay, so we go outside. There's an outdoor shower. And then over here is our little backyard, which we're going to go see. So here's a better look at our little backyard, okay. And then it goes, and it goes into the shower. Okay, so I just brought all my stuff and I put it out here. I had to shave, so I had the shave gel. Okay, another hammock. So if you feel like bugs are gonna get on you, they provide another hammock in this one. So you can be inside. And then they have a little cute little table and chair. So as you can see, it's a really nice cabin, very spacious. And Wi-Fi is good here, very strong. I uploaded a few YouTube videos while I was here. Now, this place is ideal if you want to unwind, connect with nature. If this is a place that you want to reconnect and just relax, this is it, okay? I walk barefoot throughout this whole entire property because there's no need to wear slippers or shoes or anything like that because it's sand everywhere. And then you walk straight out to the beach. And then I go swimming and I love it because there's nothing really much to do here. You have to bring your own games i brought like cards here checkers you know i just wanted to have some fun here so i brought those if you need a place that you want to sleep relax chill have wi-fi and just eat and you're not really into doing anything this place is it i would highly recommend it for that okay currently we're watching netflix so the internet works okay food so they do not offer food here okay so we brought our own waters because i know i drink a lot of water i can probably go through this in a day i'm not over exaggerating and then we brought snacks but we just brought snacks. We're gonna buy foods from the local restaurants here because this hotel is all about supporting Treasure Beach, so they don't offer food here. Is this even plugged in? Yeah, it is. We're making some breakfast. We're just making the typical. You have to keep that in mind, okay? I have a video on five places you can eat in Treasure Beach, so you guys can go watch that video so you guys can have an idea of what you guys can eat here at Treasure Beach at affordable cost. 
<laughs> now let's talk about the ambience and the music and the vibe here it's so nice there's just like calm soft music let's talk about privacy in this cabin okay now this cabin is a nice cabin as you guys saw it's nice big spacious I like it now when it comes to privacy I don't know about that because I was walking out in the night and had the lamp on and some of the lights in here and I had the curtains closed like these curtains here I had them closed but you can still sh see shadows in here so I couldn't stop laughing because I'm like what if someone what if two people are getting intimate in this cabin you would have to do it with the lights off because people from the outside will see your guys shadows and stuff so that's just a FYI I have to let you guys know about the whole privacy thing you can see shadows from the outside so <laughs> people are gonna put two and two together and see but there's a lot of suites especially in like the apartment villa parts um it's more traditional so it's more enclosed it's more like walls there um made out of concrete and stuff like that yeah so this place it's walking distance to places okay guys so from Katamo, which is like a little bit behind me you can walk this whole entire beach strip it reminds me of negril like seven mile beach where you can just like walk the whole beach strip and then you can go to different places bring your own hygiene items they don't provide that for you they probably just provide two soap okay yeah so all they provide is like rags for you to bathe with or face cloths whatever you use them for and then there's cleansing bars and then they provide you with two towels you guys like know that i like bar soap so i brought my little blue soap to bathe with <laughs> I'm gonna go shower now. Look at my little head thing. Anyway, so the shower is behind me. Ooh, outdoor shower. Supposedly the water gets hot, so I'm just gonna wait a little bit. Someone already showered before me and they said the water actually does get hot. They didn't even want to come out. Are you Jamaican? Yes! <laughs> when, you're, when you hang up your rag. Can you guys see still? <laughs> uh, it's getting hot. It's getting out still. A little bit longer and then it'll get hot. Forgot to tell you guys. Um, I just finished showering. The water was warm, but more on the cold side of warm. So what I'm gonna do is go sleep outside. We're gonna go sleep outside. So let's go sleep outside. Oops. And that's it, but you can bring your own toothpaste, shampoo, conditioner, all that stuff, because that wasn't in my cabin. These are some old school locks. Like if you're if you live in the country, you know exactly these old school locks. I think I haven't seen one since I was like eight. Seven, eight. The lighting here is so nice. Hey guys, we're just chilling here. Relax. Okay guys. I'm taking some pictures. I'm lying on these like cabana things. Let me see if I can show you guys. I'm looking out at the ocean and then Ocean. The sea! Do I think I'm in Canada about ocean? Yeah, so. Let me show you guys. I wanted to take a picture. And this it has these beads on it, and I think it'll give like a Moroccan vibe. See, isn't that so nice? Hey guys, so we're upstairs. There's like upstairs part here. Sun is nice. I'm enjoying myself so far. It's really nice here. If you guys have any children here, I would recommend you guys bringing them or just anyone younger because there's a beach here and like just bring game. It's very private. I just feel like free here. It's really nice. I would highly recommend you guys coming here. So as you guys can hear the sea, the sea is rough on this side. I don't know if it's just the time of year that I'm here, but it's really rough. But it was nice, like I went swimming it in, so very nice. Highly would recommend, 10 out of 10. You guys have to try it. Yeah, so as I was saying, this place is walking distance to other places. Food places, bars, just walk around, or you can cycle. If you guys want yoga, yoga type of classes, they'll call someone in for you. There's a lot here, they're very catering here, like it's nice, I like it. Okay, so we're here at the next spot. We're at Drew's next So, I'm gonna tell you guys about this place. So cute, so nice, come along. So the next one here obviously is Drew's Escape. <laughs> Cause guys, I love it here. So this place is really, really nice. It's cabin. So if you are someone who likes cabin, you'll like this. It's something different I've never seen before. Well, I never experienced before. There are cabins here that you can book and they're traditional rustic style. I don't know, this place looks really new or maybe the place is just really well maintained but it's like quality. Anyway, so you can only book this property through Airbnb. So I'm gonna have the link of course down below interested in booking this place of course okay and the host his name is andrew he's very friendly very welcoming when you first meet him he like treats you like you're already his friend he gave me some fruits okay let me know if you guys know what this is comment it down below and he gave us this he's so nice and that was very nice and he just made sure that I was okay and I was comfortable and stuff like that yeah so if anyone is wondering about security the security cameras I saw security cameras on my cabin so you're safe okay and the location safe I feel like a lot of places in Treasure Beach is like really safe okay next is let me give you guys a room tour before I continue yeah let's go into the room tour this is it 
So hammock at the front. Very cute. Let me go in. Chairs. This is it. You walk in to the right. You have like a hangers and all that. You get a fan. Okay, they have a, a net for mosquitoes. It smells good in here. Okay, it's closed. You have, it's clean and nice in here. Um, fridge. Then you have your tea things. Your fridge, hopefully it's colder. The fridge is colder here. Okay, and then you go over here to your left. This is a bathroom, of course. Well, it's not, of course, but here's the bathroom. It's cute. And here is so cute. It's literally a cabin. <gasps> oh, wow. Look at this. This is nice. Wow. Look at the arc. This is very nice. It's different. Does this to hang up. It smells so good in here, guys. I can't stop saying it. Oh, and then outside. Oh, there's another cabin over here, as you guys can see. So someone's staying in the cabin over here okay oh here they actually give you soap <laughs> okay and then shower we have a nice outdoor shower oh wow this outdoor shower actually has like mesh over so nothing will fall on you and then this is it this is really nice guys okay so there's mesh as you guys can see right here as well Okay, they have a fridge and they, <laughs> they actually have a freezer. So I put the two waters in here and then I'm going to put like my chocolates and my cheese and everything else in, in the fridge. And the freezer actually feels cold and stuff. Just a little tip for this place here. Oh, they don't have mirrors. I noticed with this place and Katama, I'm saying their name wrong. It's just the way the Canadian me and how I would pronounce things. Anyways, they don't have long mirrors, like standing up mirrors. So you guys want to keep that into consideration. So I have to be using the washroom mirror and I'm going to show you guys what I am what I have to do in the washroom mirror to see my full outfit. I have to stand back and try and look at the outfit like this. <laughs> the lighting here is actually good. I'm actually surprised to be honest. Um, or you can, I always bring a mirror with me because I have to do my makeup and my mirror is like kind of big-ish. I put it in my car. But um, yeah, just something to keep them into mind that they don't have Full body mirror so that's something that these people need to think about doing what i would say is bring your guys own hygiene items so he has soap but if you're someone who doesn't like bar soap then you're not gonna like that the next thing is that it's so quiet here it's really quiet and you'll hear like music in the background faintly but that's just jamaica jamaica you're always gonna hear music playing whether it's down the road you're gonna still hear it but mainly you hear the sounds of nature the birds there's so much birds on this property it's so nice they're refreshing and cute yeah so it's very quiet now this place i wouldn't say is geared towards children i don't think they allow children here it's mainly geared towards adults couples friends solar travelers this place would be good too solar travelers who want an adventure because with this place for people who just only want to come here just to sleep they they're out all day and then they just want to come home and sleep they want somewhere nice nice let me emphasize the nice and smells good and clean <laughs> um if they want that they just come here yeah so if that's what you do the cabin in front of me there's a couple in that cabin cabin right yeah so this place is actually good because it forces you to actually go out and experience treasure beach by just doing things and interacting with other people i know there's a lot of solo travelers around here like i'm meeting a lot of people i'm meeting a lot of people who moved down to jamaica and they live in treasure beach hot water is there hot water the hot water here is very very hot like it's steaming hot so they have hot and cold water okay yeah there's wi-fi and the wi-fi is fast okay oh and with this place with google maps you can actually find it like google maps actually gives you the correct direction for katama google maps wasn't giving me the correct direction yeah so another thing is this place is walking distance to the sea or the beach and then it's walking distance to food places it's walking distance to just like everything to be honest and yeah and speaking of walking distance there's no cooking here on the property there's no food here on the property so it kind of forces you to go out and eat and again i have a video on five places that you can eat in treasure beach so you guys can definitely go watch that video if you guys want to become aware of places that you can eat while here because a few of these places here it's more like you sleep and then you go support the local restaurants and eat there but yeah anyway let's go on okay i'm swinging Ooh, on a hammock and i'm currently just planning something that you guys are gonna see obviously but that's what i'm doing right now it's very quiet it's very hot in the day it's really hot down here actually let's be real i was walking on the beach and it felt like my skin was burning off <laughs> but yeah that's that for now okay guys so here at drew's escape listen to the birds 
It's so nice. I think I'm gonna play some checkers. You guys saw us playing cards the other day, so I'm like the checkers champ. And then I think we're gonna go down by the boat. So I'm gonna bring you guys along with me. Hey guys, just finished playing checkers. Of course I won. I'm the checkers queen. Anyways, we're gonna go down to the beach. I'm gonna go take some pictures and then go swimming. I need to go swimming. Hey guys, okay, we're here at the beach. It's literally, how long would you say the walk is from Drew's escape to this beach here? Oh, what is, two minute, minutes. Two minutes, yeah, it was a two minute walk. <laughs> Anyone can come here. It doesn't matter if you're staying at Drew's escape, Hatama, anywhere in Treasure Beach, you guys can come down here. Ooh, ah, Jamaica's nice. This is my outfit, this is my mom's um, pullover, but she's gonna see this and notice I keeped it out of her closet. I bought this like um, triangle top thing here in Jamaica in Christiana. You know the Chinese harbor dasheries or the Asian owned harbor dasheries? Yeah, and then I got this at um, I think a beauty supply store they were selling this. Like I was like, oh, this is kind of cute. Marzoni. It's six in the morning. We're gonna go swimming. <laughs> Last night, swimming at sunset was so fun. Oh my gosh. Anyways, let me go to finish getting ready. Guys, running to this the sea coconut. But this one's old and dry up. But you can eat these whenever you guys see them, see them on the beach. Yes, I'm just here. This is so nice. It came from up there. So I'm at the next space here. I'm at Palms 360. Very nice place. It's very, very secluded. So I'm staying in the Firefly penthouse. So I want you guys to come along with me. I'm going to show you guys the place, share my experience. So come on, let's go. So this is like the entryway to go up. I'm going to give you guys a morning tour as well, but I'll give you guys a night tour to get a vibe. Seating, outdoor seating. Here's the door here. So we have nice seating and then the views. I have to do this in the morning because I have to show you guys the view. And then it goes into the kitchen, which is good because we're gonna cook. <laughs> some, just like probably some breakfast. So this is the kitchen here. You get a full kitchen here. I have to show you guys the views in the morning though. Okay, so we have a whole entire balcony for ourselves here. Table, chairs. We have just a dip pool here, very nice. And then this is the room, it's very nice. Hi. Hi. And then this is the bathroom. And then we have an outdoor shower, look at that. And then, okay, I wanna show you guys something. It's something i never seen, so there's this. So you close it, and then after you close it, you grab this here, and then you push it in the hole. And then that closes it. <laughs> this is so different. Hey guys, I'm gonna go shower, I'm looking around. So this door leads to the outdoor shower. We're doing a temperature check. <gasps> it's hot. Okay, they have hot water here too. Bang. Good night, good night, good night. Okay, they provide shampoo and conditioner, and then they provide body wash. This is my bar soap. Very nice outdoor shower. Good morning from Treasure Beach, wow, so pretty. Wow, wow, wow. 
Okay, I wanted to do a quick morning tour just so you guys can see everything much better. Here's the view. And then you go over. Okay, so this is like the dining area, pool area. Then it goes from the dip pool here, the view, and then into the bedroom. Good morning, everyone. It's the next morning. I woke up so early this morning because I thought we would get the pink sunrise facing our bedroom window, but it was facing the outdoor shower. So I was like, oh my gosh, I woke up so early for almost nothing. Down here in Treasure Beach, the sunset. It's so nice. I just want to talk about the place a little bit so you guys have an idea. So as I said, we are in the penthouse, okay? Even if you guys are not staying in the penthouse, there's other like places here on the property that you can stay. Now this place where it's located, it's not like Katama and Drew's Escape where it's so close, like walking distance to like almost everything. A lot of these spaces here beyond lashings, which I'm going to show in the next place. Oh, I'm getting run away. You don't really eat on site. Okay, unlike here, they provide like a whole kitchenette where you guys, as you guys saw that you can make your own meals, which we're going to be doing. Okay, we're going to make some food. I had to bring this bread all the way from Spalling. I hired a bread straight from the bakery. This is my favorite, favorite bread. I brought some frankfurters. We're going to make some eggs and then here's the pot. Is this the only pot? Oh my god guys, this is the only pot that we can cook with and then we have the tea. So nice. If I have a kitchen, it has to have huge windows like this place. Like just natural. Anyway, so let's turn on the stove. Guys, I've been eating out every day. And I'm addicted to the pancakes at home, the Vibes Cafe. The treasury is so good. Look at this view. Oh, my tripod is in the way. Look at that. Okay, the eggs and then we're defrosting the frankfurters. I brought some snacks. A lot of Here's how it's going. Yeah, so a lot of places you have to go to eat. So for here, I'm gonna have to be driving out, but like the other like more local places that I love, it's not like too far or anything, but it's not walking distance. So you have to keep that in mind. So this area here, it's more we're elevated where I can see the whole entire view. It's so pretty. It's very nice. So if you like things where you can overlook the whole entire treasure beach, this is it. If you love views, this is it. If you don't care about like very strong ocean waves, like what we heard at Kat Katama, then you'll like this because it's very quiet. But the only thing is there's a lot of bugs here oh and they provide vape skin mask even though i brought my own but this is very nice actually because a lot of places don't give you repellent so that's something you guys can keep into consideration okay it's very breezy up here so if you're someone who gets hot a lot this place is perfect for you okay so this place here you're sharing the space with the owner so that's something to keep in mind if you do want to book this space she gave me a tour of the other spaces here they're so cute they're more of people who are just like i just need somewhere to sleep and that's it but they're really nice like it's a whole experience that you get down there too but up at the penthouse you get like your own apartment your own vibe it's nice you have a lounge area you have a pool area a tanning area you have your bed your bath and your outdoor shower one thing i love about treasure beach there's a lot of outdoor showers here a lot oh follow me on instagram at anisha adams if you guys want to see any of my photos i took throughout this whole entire vlog i took a lot and we're having a good time so far it's nice it's really nice here they provide us with the dip pool so 10 out of 10 for that jamaica's nice and it's good because like there's no beach near here even though you have to like go a little distance not anything far but there's a distance not like it's walking distance as i said aren't these cards so cool i saw them and i fell in love with them they're so nice everyone hi everybody <laughs> Okay, I'm back. If you're liking the vlog so far, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe for more content like this. But make sure to share this comment down below to boost engagement so other people can find this video helpful as well. And if you guys know what this is in my glass here, comment down below. Because you're an alcoholic if you know. Okay guys, so we're just up here. We took a swim, it was so nice. And then now we're just relaxing and then we're gonna go out for dinner. Because as I said earlier in the video, you can't eat here. They, they're they really into promoting local businesses, local restaurants. A lot of the places, as you guys see in this video, they're all about that. Treasure Beach is really all about communities. And then we're gonna come back and we're just gonna chill out. We went swimming, it was so nice. You can see the whole entire view and it's just really calm and relaxing. And is this fixed for me properly? I got these earrings here from just like a, a local boutique here, very cute. Anyways, come along, follow me along. We're gonna talk about more about this place. Yeah, probably. 
palms 360 wow okay to get here super easy with gps the roads are a little bit rougher coming here here it's really close to lashings literally right basically next door like all these places i highly recommend so as soon as you come into this property right you can tell that the owners wanted to create something magical like you can see the lights and the ambience and the soft smooth music that they're playing once you enter you know automatically that the owners wanted to make a magical getaway here this is the next generations of jamaica's getaway villas top top of the top <laughs> this two-story contemporary style with both a modern and like traditional classic decor will leave you with a oh my gosh okay like you need to experience this you need to see this you need to come here and i saw it i was like oh my god this is just what i need so the cool thing about being up in the penthouse is that like the whole entire place here is perched on a hill and it's overlooking the caribbean coastline so you're literally getting 360 views of treasure beach of the sea of the hills like the views are here at this location okay i was just saying that like we're here in the pool huh? and like whenever they're playing football down there we can literally see this close so there's no need to go down there you can watch everything in the privacy of your home you have your own food right here then you're watching them i'm being dead honest every inch of this property is Palms 360 is one of South Coast's ideal spot to stay if you want to have comfort and luxury and privacy seclusion all in one. Let me drink some. Let me, let's toast to that. <laughs> Doesn't matter if you're from England, America, Canada, Kingston, Ochi, Mobe. Come to, down to Treasure Beach. Try out this experience. Let them know I sent you guys and you guys will like it. I'm telling you, it's nice. Follow me on Instagram at Anisha.Adams. Yeah, so I'm gonna go get food now, and that's what I'm gonna do. Anyways, I'm gonna go change. Hey guys. I love all these places equally in this video because they all have something that I like and I would recommend. If you just want a place that has a nice cabin, has a nice day. Okay, this is a fit. You know when girls take pictures like this and then their bathroom's all dirty? <laughs> This is where we're staying the penthouse they actually have like two sections so this is like the second part of the villa so we have our own separate pool and plate now we're way at the top so we're at the highest floor look at the stairs so okay so once you walk up these 10 million steps you're going to reach here once you reach in here there's all these cute little signs here i love it walk in here's to one bedroom and then it goes into this bedroom here so we already moved in so the bed is a little bit messy we already have like our things packed up so this is how it looks in the daytime so the bed here over here is just a little table um if you're putting on makeup i'd say do your makeup outside because the lighting in here is not really as bright but at night i did um my makeup in the bathroom which is right here the lights to turn on here now this bathroom here this is how it looks Thank God they have a full view mirror. And then they give you like lotion, shampoos, and whatever. Not the hair products, that's my stuff. And this is a shower. The only thing when it comes to this suite here is that it's, I would say that it's for people who are more like intimate because when you're showering, you're literally in the open. So everyone's going to see you. Or when you're showering, everyone's just gonna have to come out the room and you lock all the doors. So this shower is like reminds me of the like Korean style. I don't know what the correct term is for these type of bathrooms where like the shower is just. A part of the rest of the bathroom so when i was showering yesterday like everywhere it got wet just the style then it just dries right and then they do have hot water if anyone's wondering that's really it for in here now it's so nice especially when you wake, wake up so we slept but the doors open and so we were like greeted with just like the sky the horizon the birds the goats the roosters is really nice so then as i told you guys we're greeted with the outside so you have seating you have seating over here and this is like the second part there and then this is the view goes down to the pool but one of the pools okay guys so this is a view we're at the treetop restaurant and bar area so this is where we were basically staying yesterday Oh, 
coming. <laughs> That's so funny. And then you turn over here and you get a nice view. And then this goes to the other village, which is on that floor. And this goes straight to the pool. Okay. You walk down. Okay, so this is a pool area. So this is where I was swimming. These are the other rooms. I didn't really want to give lashings a big feature in this video because I already gave them like a huge dedicated video. So I'm going to link that video in case any of you guys want to see my full experience at lashing. So that's under titled Rural Life in Jamaica. Okay, I hope you guys can hear me. So this is the entrance and then as you walk in, it's basically like a studio cottage. You have like storage, chair, more storage, a bench. I love when beds have benches at the front of them because you can just like sit down, rest your stuff there. They have AC. A lot of places didn't have AC that I went to, so that was good. Okay, we have another storage, tea and such. I'm gonna go here. This is a shower. The sink, here I am, hello, how are you? I like this mirror, I should probably take a picture in it. It's really big. And this is the bathroom. This is the toiletry area. Let's see what they provide here. So again, you're gonna have to bring your own toiletries. So this is how it looks. We have cottages beside us here. You come out and you're right in front of the sea. You're greeted by the sea, you're greeted by the sky. So this is pretty. Hi everyone. It has been uh, a night, a long night. So I wanted to talk to you guys. I wonder if you guys can hear the sea from in here. Anyways, let's talk about 77 West. So I'm currently at 77 West. Now this space, is the farthest one out of all of them okay so you're gonna have to drive you can walk if you want to to be honest whatever method you want to use to come to go go into like the main areas of treasure beach like so where frenchman's bay is and yeah okay so this one's the farthest i thought palms 360 was no that place is more local so i'm taking that back this place is for people who if people even backpack in jamaica i would say this place is for backpacking this place is literally for someone who is just passing through the area and they need somewhere to stay, I would just say this place is it. Like, you just wanna stay for a night, you just need somewhere to stay and you go about your business. Now, the reason why I say that is because it doesn't have like ambience. And I noticed that a lot of people don't care for that, so I had to show a place like this in the video so you guys can have this as a selection. And again, I'm just letting you guys know, I'm, I'm just creating awareness of all these spaces here in Treasure Beach, okay? And they have a restaurant on site, they have a pool, they have the beach there, if you like the beach over the pool, and they have a bar, okay? So they have the, they have the idea of the whole experience here, but I feel like the experience, the actual like making of the experience is gone, if that makes sense. <laughs> like there's no vibe. I feel bad saying that, but I have to be honest. It needs to be more like renovated and like cleaned a little bit well. You guys know I'm a germaphobe. Like the concept and the place and everything is very nice. You have your own private cottage. I love how the, the whole entire place, you can get like natural air throughout this whole entire space. They do provide you with the AC, but you can open like all the windows. Like, so there's a lot of natural breeze and the breeze up here is strong, man. It's probably the strongest breeze out of all the places that I've been to. Like it's nice. And the nice thing about this place is that it's overlooking the sea. So I feel like the sunrise is gonna be nice and the sunsets will be nice over here. But yeah, so that's really it for this place. Yeah, the only thing I didn't like is the sign here. It just made me uneasy because I'm like wait what are you trying to say that someone's gonna come and do something to my car or try and I don't know so I was I saw this sign and I was just like what the be caught and because of this let me show you guys what I did to my car okay I did this <laughs> and I just want to say this again if you guys don't care for those things this place is for you it is fine like but I've seen people who just come here to chill out actually so you can come here I guess and just chill out the bar chill out the restaurant if you want to swim, you come here and swim because earlier today there were people here. So really it for 77 West, you guys. I think this is it for today's video. Oh my gosh, this is it. If you guys did like this video and you guys want more videos similar to this, make sure to comment down below what area you guys would like me to do next. Comment down below to give this video a like up. You guys are going to help me boost the engagement so this video can go to a wider audience so much more far farther. But yeah, that's it for today's video. I hope you guys liked it and I'll see you guys in my next video. Okay.